If you don't care about the details of how I found my results, pause the video and read this TLDR. You may have noticed that if you do small strafing movements while shooting, your accuracy when spraying doesn't seem to drop. How the fuck did you? How does your spray? Hold on a second. I'm gonna pass the next How the fuck does your spray stay in control while you sidestep? Move out. I wasn't sure if this was due to the velocity merely being too low to cause a noticeable impact on accuracy, or if there really is a hard threshold below which you maintain full accuracy. I tried some googling and couldn't find any answers, so I went about testing it myself. I edited the game files to change the parameters of the AK-47. I gave the weapon perfect accuracy from everything except to movement. I increased the inaccuracy from movement from 175 to 1000 to make its effects more obvious in-game. With weapon debug spread show, I can clearly see any changes in the accuracy of the weapon. When using SV max speed to reduce my speed to 73, we can see that I maintain perfect accuracy while moving. If I set max speed to 74, I do have inaccuracy. 73 is about 34% of the AK-47's max move speed of 215. I tested with a few other weapons to be sure. Yep, turns out that you maintain perfect accuracy below 34% of max move speed. Interestingly, it isn't one-third rounded, it's actually rounded to 34% instead. After finding this answer, I googled with more specific terms and found that others had already discovered this 34% max in the past. Although, I didn't find any videos on the subject, so hopefully this one is informative for most people. Okay, so how does this affect things in practice? Well, in my opinion, it's actually quite significant. These minor movements, what I like to call micro-strafing, might not look like much, but they can substantially increase the difficulty the enemy has with shooting your head. Also, although moving too fast will increase your inaccuracy, in reality, you can move a bit beyond the 34% speed limit and still maintain accuracy for almost every shot, if not every shot, because of the fact that the weapon isn't guaranteed to fire a shot during the moment you pass the speed limit. This gives you a bit of leeway with your strafing. But what about crouching? At medium to long range, most good players tend to crouch while spraying. Crouching increases your accuracy, but doesn't reduce your recoil. It also reduces the recovery time between each shot on your spread, meaning that during your spray, the gun will be more accurate with each shot by some amount. Altimore's post in the description shows the formula the source code uses, but Sloth Squadron provided a simplified version that provides the same results. Sloth Squadron also went out of his way to help me understand the formula and correct my math, and he maintains the CS weapon spreadsheet in the description, so many thanks and a big shout out to him. The base in accuracy and recovery time vary between standing and crouching. Firing in accuracy and spread remain the same, while T is based on the cycle time and the number of shots fired. For the AK-47, this means an 18-22% to reduction in the radius of the firing cone, which is a 32-39% to reduction in the area where shots can land, which is a 47-64% to increase in precision. As for the M4A4, the increase in precision from crouching is between 57 and 112%, and with the M4A1S, the increase is between 62 and 114%. An increase in precision on the scale of 50 to 100% is very significant at long range, but is that increase in precision more important than strafing to dodge enemy fire? If the enemy isn't looking at you, you have no need to strafe and might as well crouch. If the enemy is very close to you, you have no need for the increased accuracy and are much better off strafing. In the end, you're going to have to make the decision in real time based on the circumstances. Of course, strafing without moving too fast and readjusting your aim is more difficult than simply crouching, but that will come down to your skill as a player. Movement didn't work this way in 1.6. When you passed a very small velocity, your recoil would increase dramatically. This meant that players were penalized more heavily for moving at all while firing. Some players believe that this change and some other factors make ADAD -AD spam too strong in CSGO. Really hard to hit a shot there, and then he just goes straight into ADAD -AD mode, because he has no choice, nothing he can do. So he just full blown, never stops moving. Shock, same thing. Keeps moving, can't hit for us because he's just crop spamming. Look at Gary Ryan just moving full speed in front of him. What do you think? Should the way movement penalties work be changed in CSGO? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. And if you have any ideas you'd like me to test or analyze, leave those as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe if that tickles your fancy.